scientists sound alarm as growing threat looms over coastal states. We are preparing for the wrong disaster this ISNTA distant dystopian future. It's a reality that we are facing right now, scientists have issued a stern warning over the ongoing threat of rising sea levels caused by the ever-changing climate. S are facing one of the most rapid sea level surges on Earth. While many understandably assume that extreme weather events like hurricanes are the source of these changes, experts revealed that rising water levels face a newer, more insidious challenge of accumulation caused by smaller scale weather events. The threat of sea level rise to coastal communities, not only in the United States but globally, is a significant concern. Coastal areas are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of sea level rise, including increased flooding, erosion, and saltwater intrusion into freshwater sources. S. Facing one of the most rapid sea level surges on Earth suggests a pressing issue for those regions. The specific threat level varies depending on factors such as the rate of sea level rise, the topography of the area, existing infrastructure, and local adaptation measures in place. It's crucial for these communities to develop and implement adaptation strategies to mitigate the impacts of sea level rise and to enhance resilience against future changes. Scientists have issued a stern warning over the ongoing threat of rising sea levels caused by the ever-changing climate. This concern is particularly relevant for coastal states, where the impact could be severe. Let's delve into the details, 1. Marine heat waves. Asterisk recent extreme ocean warming has caught the attention of scientists worldwide. Oceanic heat waves are affecting both sides of North America including waters off the coast of Florida and the western coasts of the U.S. and Canada. The western Mediterranean, the Baltic Sea, and the waters around New Zealand and Australia. Asterisk these heat waves can have several negative effects. Asterisk impact on ocean life, marine heat waves can cause fish die-offs and coral bleaching. Warmer water disrupts marine ecosystems and makes it harder for fishermen to sustain their livelihoods. Asterisk threat to the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Current AMOC The AMOC is a crucial global conveyor belt of ocean water that regulates weather patterns, including the jet stream. If the North Atlantic water becomes too warm, the AMOC could slow down or even stop, leading to extreme weather changes worldwide. Asterisk predictions, scientists estimate that the AMOC could be affected sometime between 2025 and 20951. Two dot efforts and research asterisk scientists from around the world are working to better understand marine heat waves, their causes, and their impact on climate and the environment. While there's still much to learn, some progress has been made, such as predicting marine heat waves several months in advance. 3. The urgency asterisk coastal states need to prepare for the consequences of rising sea levels. Focusing on the right disaster preparedness is crucial to mitigate the impact on communities, ecosystems, and economies. In summary, addressing the threat of rising sea levels requires global cooperation, scientific research, and proactive measures to protect vulnerable coastal regions. Let's hope that our collective efforts can help us prepare effectively for the challenges ahead. Why is this concerning? These rapidly increasing water levels are uncommon. And to make matters worse, experts believe they are here to stay even if the rate of the rise tapers off eventually. Since 2010, it's very abnormal and unprecedented. Said Jan Janine, a climate scientist at the University of Arizona who has studied the changes. It's irreversible. Watch now, what's the true environmental impact of renewable energy? Rising global temperatures have caused warmer currents that cause water to expand. However, human-induced climate change caused by harmful gases and a lack of care for the environment have also contributed to these concerning issues. The rising levels have particularly impacted the state of Louisiana where wetlands that are meant to act as a natural barrier to catastrophic storms are now in a state of drowning. This issue would make the state more vulnerable to future major weather events. Coastal communities can take several proactive steps to prepare for the threat 
of rising sea levels caused by climate change. Here are some strategies. 1. Elevate infrastructure. Raise buildings and roads. Coastal cities and towns should elevate critical infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and buildings to reduce vulnerability to flooding. This can involve retrofitting existing structures or designing new ones with higher foundations. Natural barriers. Implement natural barriers like sand dunes, mangroves, and wetlands. These ecosystems act as buffers against storm surges and rising tides. 2. Adaptation planning, zoning regulations. Local governments can update zoning regulations to restrict construction in high-risk flood zones. This helps prevent new developments in vulnerable areas. Managed retreat. In some cases, planned retreat from the coastline may be necessary. Communities can identify areas that are most at risk and gradually relocate. Residents and infrastructure to safer locations. 3. Invest in resilience. Green infrastructure. Invest in green infrastructure. Solutions such as rain gardens, permeable pavements, and green roofs. These absorb excess water and reduce runoff, seawalls and levees. Construct or reinforce seawalls and levees to protect against storm surges and rising tides. However, these should be part of a comprehensive strategy and not the sole solution. Living shorelines, use living shorelines, e.g. Oyster reefs, salt marshes, instead of hard structures. 1. Community engagement, education, and awareness. Educate residents about the risks of rising sea levels and involve them in planning and decision-making processes. Community-based adaptation. Engage local communities in developing adaptation plans. Their knowledge of the area and lived experiences are invaluable. 2. Collaboration and funding, regional cooperation. Coastal states and neighboring regions should collaborate on shared challenges. Sea level rise affects entire coastlines, so joint efforts are essential. Asterisk federal and international support. Seek funding and support from federal agencies. Asterisk international organizations and NGOs grants and research initiatives can help fund adaptation projects. 3. Long-term vision. Asterisk integrated planning. Consider the long-term impact of rising sea levels when planning new developments. Integrated land use planning can help create resilient communities. Asterisk climate resilient design. Architects and urban planners should incorporate climate resilience into their designs. This includes considering sea level rise, extreme weather events, and changing ecosystems. What can be done about it? Officials are trying to figure out ways to combat these issues. In Galveston, for example, there is a plan to install several pump stations. Over the next few years using funding provided through federal grants. However, it was noted that each pump is expected to cost over $60 million, which is likely to exceed the city's annual tax revenue. We can help by taking steps to reduce our own carbon footprint. Like switching to electric vehicles, supporting local food sources, choosing native species when planting or volunteering for local cleanup projects in areas where rising sea levels pose a threat.